I'm Eddie Gomez, and here's what's happening this morning. One person is dead after a shooting overnight in Sacramento. SAC PD says the shooting happened at Truxel and San Juan Roads near Natomas High School. An investigation is currently underway. And Sacramento police have arrested an 18 and 21 year old in connection to a double homicide last weekend. The double homicide happened just before 730 last Sunday. It was near the intersections of Northgate Boulevard and Wisconsin Avenue. Two men were shot and killed. Police say this appears to be an isolated incident. And a Sacramento CHP officer is recovering after ramming into a car going the wrong way on the highway. It happened early Thursday morning on Highway 50 at Sinfandel Drive when patrol car ramped into the car, slowing it down enough to stop it. Officers took the driver into custody for allegedly driving under the influence. Now for a check of the weather, here's Carly Gomez. All right, well, we expect to see some sunshine for your weekend, some above average temperatures for your high, but in the early morning hours, still fairly cold. We're looking at low 40s in the valley. Now, the above average temperatures are expected to sit around for the next week, even up to 10 days, as we start to see temperatures just above the 70 degree mark. Now, limited air mixing, I want to bring this up because we're still not looking at a lot of movement when it comes to the winds pushing out any pollutants that may be in the air. So we still have a little bit of a cap and an inversion in place. That will bring in just a bit of moderate air quality for you. Now, clouds are arriving. We do expect to see some partly cloudy skies overnight and even sticking around through the daytime hours as we move through the midweek, all due to this jet stream that starts to pull in off the Pacific, moving up and over into the Pacific Northwest, dragging in that cold Arctic air into areas of the central U.S., the upper Mississippi Valley, the Great Lakes up toward the northeast and all these areas here. They're expected to get that blast of cold air, but also some areas of snowfall. So we are seeing that start up as soon as late Saturday night into Sunday and really from Sunday to Monday for areas of the north and then eventually moving its way out by Wednesday to Thursday in the northeast. Still freezing, though, for areas down near the south. So they're going to expect to see a freeze warning in place with winter weather advisories across many areas. But for us, the high pressure is still in place, keeping us clear, dry, calm, and we'll also feel some warmer temperatures. We'll see drier weather conditions. We don't have any rain in the forecast yet, even though we do have a few clouds rolling in that may bring us the best chance of rain could be Friday, but at this point it's still anywhere from a 10 to 20% chance and it will be a lot higher as you move toward Oregon. So we could see maybe a 30% chance, but at this point still not looking at any rain in the forecast. Now mid to upper 70s for the first half of the work week and then we start to get into the mid 70s by Wednesday. Could even see right at average temperatures Thursday into Friday and moving into next weekend closer to average.